Okay, we got this King Ashley pellet stove and it's the 5500 unit so it has a bigger hopper in it got the glass door I'm going to show you a few things um, to adjust this thing to get Now it says this is not a primary uh, heat source for a house, not intended to be a primary heat source for a house, but this is all we use and we have some backup, we have electric for backup, but um, so first of all I'm going to show you how to do a factory reset. You hit the auxiliary button, the up and down auxiliary button at the same time, just press and hold it. And you'll notice the buy comes on and then it goes through its uh, code. Now that we factory reset this, um, the stove is actually out right now. So I'm going to show you a few things. If you hit the on button, it's going to automatically um, come out at the uh, four pound, four and a half pounds. If you hit the top of the heat range, the top of the heat range, top of the auxiliary. Let's try this again. Hit the top of the, first you want to hit on, then hit the heat range and auxiliary. And now we're doing four pounds, basically four and a half pounds per hour of pellets. Now we can adjust this down to Factory settings only allow you to go down to 175 without changing the factory settings themselves. The codes, they call them. Factory codes. So we'll go down to 1.75. Takes a while to get there. Make sure you don't go under 1.75. Then you hit the on to confirm this. Hit the on button. Okay, now you hit the on again to see what it did. 1.75. Now if I go lower, it'll reset to what I had before I even started. 1.73, let's check it out. Uh, I gotta hit the on and then do this again. 1.75. So you can't actually go lower than that unless you change the C setting. Now to get into your C setting, hold the auger delay and the mode button at the same time. Press and hold those in till you see a C come up. There we go. We have C1. Now here are all your settings, your C settings. So these are the factory codes right here. Now, if you want to go C2 is where you want to go inside. This is 1.75. So that's basically the lowest you can go. It's set up for 1.75. So let me go into auxiliary. So in the C2 setting, hit the on to select. And you can see we're at 1.75 pounds per hour of burning. So we can adjust this down to whatever you want. You can go down to as low as you want. Let's go down to one or 0.99. Now we hit the on and then the off to get out of the on confirms it and then off gets out of your C settings. Now let's check it out. Hit the on these two buttons. 1.75. Let's see if we can go down to 1.5. 1 1.5, then hit the on for the OK. And let's see if we got it. 1.5. So you can actually adjust it down. We can go down to 0.99 pounds per hour. Actually, you can go lower than that. You can go as low as you want. 
But I've found out you have to be at least about, well, for here, and it depends on the pellets, you know, I have to be at least at 2.65 in order for it to burn okay, and it, so the fire doesn't go out. 2.65, and then I'm gonna hit the okay. And that's about it.